How are you doing, Catherine? Doing good. Tell us this crazy story of that beautiful animal. Well, um, I drew my hunting tag, and um, actually, it was one of the. It was probably the last hunting deer tag that I could get that year from from where I hunt. And so, went out one morning, opening day, rifle season, about ready to call it for quits for the day, and we're just kind of sitting along a rock, and I'm with my daughter. We <laughs> drug her out because we we like to go hunting as a family. She was uh, six at the time, and so um, she'd gone with us. We took her out in her pajamas and. As we left in the car, it was about a three hour drive to where we were hunting and stuff. And I could see some deer out laying in the middle of a draw. I called my husband and I said, Gary, there's some there's some deer laying out over here, why don't you, you know, see what they so he could see what they look like. So he gets out the scope, looks at me, he comes running at me and he goes, There's a huge one out there like this. He just like holds his hands up huge God, how do we get to it? You know, we had my six year old daughter and it was at least a good mile and a half. Um, truck that we were going to have to make up and down some big huge draws and we're like God can she make it and she said yeah I want to go. For the hike it took us a while to get there so I kind of laid in a spot. It was about 400, four, a little over 400 yards shot and I felt felt comfortable because I know the year before I just shot um, a bighorn sheep that was 425 yards I believe. The deer finally stood up and I took a shot and I heard this thwop and I thought, oh my god, I got him. And we were all like, oh my god, I got him. And then my husband says, I think you better get another bullet in the gun because he's coming right at us. Yelling at me, take a shot, he's 250 yards, take a shot. And I ended up unloading my gun and I didn't, he didn't drop at all. And we looked for, for sign of blood, didn't see anything. We didn't want to spook him off so we didn't really truck the area very well and we thought we'd come back the next day. Didn't see anything and we went back the next day. We actually seen this group of deer that he was hanging with that day. This time the wind wasn't in our favor, so and my daughter wasn't with us, and so we said, okay, we're going to have to come around the backside, and it ended up being about a three-mile trek in. We popped over the draw after getting up closer and peeked over the edge, and I, oh my God, he's there. I said, and my husband says, what do you see? And I said, oh, all I can see is he. And I asked my husband, I said, how many yards away? And he got up the, the little range finder. He said, 261 yards, and I said, okay. I'm going to wait for him to turn broadside, and as soon as he turned broadside, then I shot. He dropped down into the draw. He never came out, and so we waited, went down there, and there he was just laying there, and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe what I just shot. And um, when we were getting getting him ready to get out, I said, well, what do you think he measures? And my husband says, oh, I'm going to guess in the 240s. And we got him home. My husband, he's a taxidermist, so he kind of did a rough score of him, and he came came out of the garage and he goes, oh my God, he goes, I just measured over 290 some inches of points. And I'm like, we had to, got him on the four wheeler and we're driving down the highway and this guy's going by me and just thumbs up and we stopped off at a gas station and um, some guy came up and says, oh my God, what kind of deer? And my husband gets out and he goes, bigger than my measuring tape. So he was over 40 inches. And so he wow. ended up being, I think the official score was 40 and an eighth inch wide. And he had 35 points, 32 of them were scoreable. And um, I'm just still kind of amazed, and every time I see him on the wall, I'm just... Well, that's wonderful. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations, Catherine Keene from Kinnear. Kinnear, Wyoming. Kinnear, Wyoming. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Great story. Thank okay, you. thanks.